Hello and welcome to From Design to Hugo uh, tutorial. In this series, we're gonna convert this design into a Hugo website. Uh, this process can take take some time, so I'm gonna split it into multiple parts and release them weekly. All right, let's check out the design first to see what we're gonna build. Uh, it's basically my new website uh, because I want to change the current one with a now uh, more more modern uh, looking one uh, it has a home page with some sections on it and a blogs page to show uh, blog posts and a single blog post page to display the contents of the post an about page and a contact page this is not a complex site but uh, you know, it's a good tutorial to learn how to design a, how to convert this design into a Hugo site. So we can open up our terminal to create a new Hugo site. So I will just type Hugo new site and your project name. I am gonna call it from this design to Hugo. It's created that. So I will open that. Uh, in a file manager which uh, Hugo gives us a initial folders and files but that's not enough for us so I want to create some uh, content on it so let's start with the layouts folder it's empty so we need some folders which one is uh, default underscore default let's say Hugo specific folder that contains some specific files what else we gonna need? We gonna need partials folder to store our partials like header, footer, the components we can call. And other one is a blog folder to store blog page specific files, and home folder to store home page specific files. Inside blog, we gonna need um, list.html file and a single .html so Hugo uh, has two different pages first one is list and the second one is single single files are uh, the single files they are not parents they are child files and we are gonna have parent files which are the list the pages that contain child pages and for the blog page blog pages we're gonna have parent uh, blog page file so it can display child blog posts right and uh, every single blog post is a single page so that's why we have them for the home page we gonna have only list that HTML because home page itself is a parent page all right uh, for the default underscore default uh, folder, we're gonna have base of that HTML. That's the base of every page uh, in the site. And for a default single page, we're gonna have single oops HTML and the list HTML. These files are working if we are not defined a content a specific type. For example, for the home page, we're gonna define home type. For the blog page, we're gonna define blog type. But if we did not uh, define a type, uh, this file is gonna work. All right. So the other files I'm gonna need inside the partial folder. Uh, we're gonna have our folders inside it. I'm gonna call it common. Uh, I'm naming them as I want it inside the partials. You, there are no rules about it. You only need to uh, call it a partial folder, and then inside it you can name it as you want it. So I will create common folder to store my common components like header, footer, and a home page specific components. I'm gonna create home folder and for blog page specific components I'm gonna create blog folder uh, for common 
I can create basically header.html for our header components and footer.html for our footer components and I can create scripts.html to store our scripts imports uh, inside a file and I'm gonna create head.html for store our head elements inside a single file to make it more uh, you know clean all right and I think I created all the base folders and files inside layouts so we can go to the main folder and we're gonna need to create assets folder to store our assets like CSS JavaScript SCSS in this project I'm gonna use SCSS preprocessor so because it's uh, is more easy than basic CSS but if you want it you cannot use it uh, but I'm gonna use it so I will create a SCSS folder to store the files uh, create JavaScript folder to store the JavaScript files and create CSS folder to store good old CSS the files uh, okay inside the CSS currently we're gonna need main.scss uh, for scss and we're gonna have variables scss to store our variables colors sizes animations what else um, so and I'm gonna have partials folder on it to you know make it more organized uh, inside the partials we are gonna have common folder to store our common partial styles and home folder and the blog folder all right inside common for example we can we can have header.scss and footer.scss uh, I'm not gonna fill them right now we're gonna fill them later on so I think uh, the files are ready inside our base uh, structure so we can move on to um, filling the site to see some contents oh first uh, I forget that inside the content folder create uh, underscore index.md file which is our home page content that we want to display on the page Hugo has content folder to you know uh, store the pages with markdown format but uh, at first we start with home page so underscore index is enough for that and underscore index naming is Hugo specific again uh, to describe it's a parent contains uh, other child inside it all right so okay now we can open it up and I'm gonna start with the base of uh, file <coughs> HTML which contain uh, which is basically a HTML file so oops I'm not opening head because I will import my um, head HTML partial because I created it uh, before so I'm gonna import it in here also I'm gonna import the header that I created before I'm adding dots on there because uh, it passes the uh, Hugo variables into the partial because we're gonna need them uh, but we can explain it later on we don't need to focus on that right now so I'm gonna import footer and scripts and I'm gonna define a um, blog to oops 
pass the content on there. Uh, the block helps us to pass content inside that area without damaging this stuff, right? So I'm gonna create that. Also, after our scripts, I'm gonna create a block called scripts to, uh, you know, add page specific scripts. Okay, our base of looks right. So maybe we can try to run our project. We call Hugo server. It's working without an error. That means we did everything fine. And now we can go to partials common head to fill our head, which is right now just a head, maybe a meta child set for UTF-8 support and some, you know, uh, nope. uh, the port support and the title for our page, I'm going to call it from design to Hugo for now. Uh, yeah. Also, uh, let's learn how we can import our assets dynamically into the heads. So in HTML, what we're going to do to import the style sheet, just type that style sheets and type text slash CSS and it's location. I'm going to leave it blank or no, uh, where is our styles? It's in the assets and uh, it's CSS. Sorry, we're gonna import CSS. But first, before importing the CSS, we should uh, create our npm package to you know run SAS preprocessor. So we currently don't have package JSON to get it uh, npm in its y and execute it. It's created our package JSON. Now we can go to that. All right. Uh, we don't need test. We just need a watch command to watch changes on our SAS files. So for that, I'm going to use SAS command. I'm going to watch it on assets, SCSS and main SCSS file and uh, push the files compiled co uh, files into assets css bundle dot css all right uh, to use that command uh, you need to install uh, sas globally to your local machine to do that you can use npm install globally sas if you run that i currently have that uh, yeah it's requires me to run with sudo. I currently have that, it's just going to update it. Yeah. Uh, if you don't, you should run that. All right. Uh, after that, we can, we can test it. Is it working? So run npm run watch. And it's listening on the background, which created a um, bundle CSS and a bundle CSS map files. That's okay. Now we can go to the layouts again. Sorry, uh, our heads HTML. What we're gonna do on Hugo, we're gonna need to create a variable called bundle CSS, but you can name it whatever you want. And I'm gonna give it a path of uh, with resources that means our resources folder and get get what you're gonna get css slash bundle css file all right and i want to minify it with uh here you go and also i want to give it a fingerprint what fingerprint does um when you deploy your site into production uh and if i visit the site with my browser 
my browser gonna catch uh, the static files like CSS and JavaScript. That, that means if I change the content from the code and revisit the sites, my browser look at the source code and sees it's using the same files. So why do updates? Uh, I can use the cached file. But with that, I will see the old content, not the new one. So to solve it with uh, the fingerprint command, Hugo automatically um, places a unique code, sorry, unique number, whatever is that, uh, to file name. And then when browser looks at that, it's a new file, so I need to get it. So browser will be always uh, gonna have the new and the fresh CSS. That's why we are using um, fingerprint commands. All right, to import uh, that resource, we're gonna go to there into href bundle CSS dot rel permalink to give it a path, you know, to um, find the file. And that's a not a thing you will see uh, every day. Integrity commands with so integrity um, attributes. With that, we are adding the fingerprint. So type bundle CSS dot data uh, and integrity. It will pass uh, and the fingerprints stuff. I don't know how it works on the back end, so you can search it. I don't know. All right, uh, we uh, linked our bundle CSS with the hat. So if we run our site again, here goes server. It shouldn't crash. Yeah, it's looking fine. If we go to the hat, we currently have no content. Mm. That means our site is not showing that uh, code. Do we import it to the default? Yeah, we are importing that. That's fine. That means our content, which is that, currently Hugo loads that and it's empty because the file is empty. So let's give it something like home page and define the type of the file, which is home. Uh, home content. All right. If we ref refresh it, things didn't change because currently we are looking for the type home all right let's look at the home type which is that and it's empty so we need to uh, somehow load that base uh, HTML and call it to call that we're gonna do uh, but uh, let me rephrase that again uh, we are not calling that we are adding our code into that bloke, all right? I want to call that bloke and append my uh, list HTML code in it. To do that, let's go to the list HTML and type define and the block name, which is main, and end it. If we come here, yeah, we have our title that means our head coming here yeah our link uh, to CSS looks like working yeah to test everything is alright just type hello and I can see that that means our um, base code is working cool now what else we gonna need uh, for our starts Maybe to we can test our uh, CSS. So let's go to the main CSS and type something like body, background, color, or wait, HTML, background, color, red. Let's paint everything to red. Yeah, that means our CSS is also working. Uh, sorry, uh, SCSS is working. It's getting compiled. Oops, it's not working with me. Huh, yeah. Uh, our bundle is compiled. Okay, 
yeah our CSS is also working uh, for our CSS I want to include that variables to main so use import variables CSS with that we can use the those variables inside it what are the variables variables are this like color red you know it's a variable so in the body I can use it sorry in the main I can use it just like that background color color red and if I can if I go to the variables I can change it to blue why not and it should be blue alright that's a variable if I remove that it's gonna crash no worries yeah alright that's why I like SCSS so we're gonna have other stuff like we gonna have header so let's import it to the main at first I'm gonna import variables to use them in uh, components so let's uh, type something here um, partials maybe yeah or common and common to you know document our code imports partials common and header scss what we have also footer right yeah uh, yeah uh, what we gonna have we also have home so home and home but inside the home we have nothing so we shouldn't import that our code should working as well without a problem yeah all right uh, we have our base folders and files yeah uh, in the next part I'm gonna create uh, the partials like welcome section about section all right and design them sorry add uh, code them through the design so thank you for watching see you next time